What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today I picked up the newest Yu-Gi-Oh! Age of Overlord box for you guys. I went to the premiere. Uh, yeah, I know I'm gonna upload this probably on Monday because I have a live stream going on Sunday. We'll probably talk more about all that and all, you know, the stuff that goes along with that. But anyway, of course, I actually won the playmat. I got the playmat and even the premiere card because they do it as like a door prize and you basically get a drawing per box you get. So I picked up two boxes and, uh, uh, yeah, I actually got really lucky on this one. The playmat looks really awesome, too. I, I like this quite a bit. It has the light version of Zark. We have Dibel Star in this set, too, which is probably the main card I think people are going for. The new Horus archetype, which actually goes with the premiere card, is like Horus. I, I posted on Instagram. I have it, like, in a deck box. I, I literally just got home right now, and I wanted to open up the boxes, okay? So that's why it's not with me right here. And uh, let's see. What else is in here? We got, like, the new Labyrinth Butler in this set, which I'm kind of looking forward to, uh, to getting because I, I play Labyrinth. And, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of other cool stuff, too. So let's just go on ahead and get to opening, right? But yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff helps out tremendously. I am getting a case of this set, and this set should be available at card shops, Walmart, all that kind of stuff. Um, I believe this Thursday or Friday, it might kind of depend where you are. So yeah, this is finally in English now, and this set I've been looking forward to. We've opened it up quite a bit when it was in Japanese and stuff too, only in Japanese. So, oh, our packs are backwards. That's kind of interesting. Okay, maybe that's a sign. Does that mean we're going to get a quarter century? I don't know. That's weird. I don't think I've ever had that before. Oh, okay. It probably means nothing, to be very honest. I just think that's kind of funny. All right, let's get going. But yeah, please like and subscribe, okay? I'd greatly appreciate it because we're going to do a lot of openings on this set, and I'm sure live streams and uh, mix of everything, okay? Starting night. Wattuna. Watt's got new support. Embrace of the uh, Tistina. They actually got new support too. That's like that gym archetype, basically. We saw last set. There's another card for them. They have an XC in this set too. Uh, again, the Diamond Tiger, I've heard, is actually a pretty interesting card. That was cool. And the new Gaia. I didn't know he was a common. Well, that's neat. I don't know all the rarities yet for the English set. I just think about the Japanese one mainly. So I'll be surprised at a few of these rarities. Because I didn't like look up everything before this, you know? Let's see what else. Warmerdick C. Oh, there's Dark or Lightworm now. It was Dark Worm. Yeah, <laughs> light version of him. What Psychic? And here is one of the Horus cards, Protection of Horus, because I don't know how in the world you say that first word. I mean, seriously. <laughs> I just have no clue. But there you go. I, I just I don't think I'm gonna try it. Yeah, the cooking archetype, they got new support. Um the Versus Archetype, Banquish Soul, you know, they got new support. And then the other one, too, that I can't think of right now. <laughs> but yeah, that, like, a lot of different things got support in this as well. Like, I didn't name off everything, because there's quite a bit, actually. Snake Eye uh, Birch. That's kind of cool. Snake Eye looks like it's going to be one of the bigger archetypes, too, of this set. They're going to get, like, their own playmat and stuff in Japan. Then we finally got, like, basically the new cards that came out in the uh, Selection 5 set. So there was, like, a new... A uh, Life Twin card, a new Dragon Maid card, uh, one for trains. What were the other two? I think, oh yeah, uh, Sky Striker and uh, Invoked, I believe, was like the other one. So the Dragon Maid card's okay. It's just not the craziest, but there you go. And even a Doadick got some new stuff too. And TGs. I mean, again, there's quite a bit. I'm kind of sad though, like the, the Dragon Maid card, I'm glad we finally have it, but it's nothing that crazy. And we're still missing all the altar arts too from that set. We opened it up, I guess like, was it last year or something? I think it came out for Japan. So we're still missing a lot of stuff. There's the Transcendosaurus, by the way. That's That was the third I couldn't think of. <laughs> that link looks so cool too. Oh, here we go. We have uh, Divine Temple of the Snake Eye. That's the field spell for them. That's cool. There's our first high rarity card, I guess, basically, you know, ultra rare. I always like this card. It's just really pretty. I remember getting that a lot in uh, in the Japanese openings. We'll go faster as we get going, but this is my first opening of this set. We didn't do an opening with Konami on this, so, you know, I want to give you guys some time to kind of look at the cards. Also, we got Earthbound. They got stuff. Realm Elegy? Well, that's kind of cool. Huh. This is Starfrost. Okay, well, yeah. Sweet roommate, there you go again. 
what? I wish that one card, I don't think that's enough really to do a Dragon Maid deck profile, but let me know if I should do some kind of update. I actually really enjoy Dragon Maids. I think they're fun. I like the whole idea behind them. And I do hope Chamber Maid finally gets her Dragon form. I think that would be cool. I mean, you know, Shino Birds, by the way, got support, as you saw. And, ooh, we have a TG Mighty Striker. That one's kind of cool. I like that. TG Close. There's the other Shino Bird. I think we got both of them, basically. Is that the... Yeah, I think that's the invoked card, if I remember correct, because it's Alistair. So, yeah. Again, I hope we get the alt arts eventually. I, the only one we've gotten technically is Engage. I don't think we got anything else. There's some cool ones, too. There's Kin. And there we go! Right there! That's what we want to see! I... I feel like she's going to be the priciest card of the set. I feel like it. So, uh, either way, it's, it's a good card. It's well, like the best card of the set, honestly. Uh, Dybel Star, the Black Witch. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I hate to yell too much. It's like almost midnight here, but wow. <laughs> I can't believe... What, I'm supposed to be one of those YouTubers. Okay, let's go. That's the new thing everyone says. I can't say that. I'm too old. Uh, I'm 30. <laughs> but there we go. I could never pull her in like my Japanese openings because I tried to several times. And uh, yeah, just had to wait for the English one. What do you know? <laughs> That's awesome, though. She is great with Rescue Ace, by the way. Like her her cards work. I think like the, the spell card you need is also a secret rare. And it works good with Fire Archetype and Rescue Ace are doing well. So it's going to be... <laughs> it's going to be one of those things, you know? Be, be afraid. Okay, what else we got? Lilla Wrap, there you go. That's the uh, Life Twins. Oh, here we go. We also got the Birth of it card. This is another uh, something for Chimera, basically, because you have like Chimera, I feel like, I guess, is more Gazelle. Well, this is the other fusion that goes with it. So, pretty cool, actually. I've heard they've been doing really well in tournaments and stuff, too, which makes me happy, honestly. Retrains of Chimera, of all things, are winning tournaments. Sometimes they use branded as well, but that makes me happy. <laughs> it's like Celtic Guardian coming back and then all of a sudden winning tournaments, you know? Oh, there's the, uh, what was it, Nelf Abyss, the Adoidic Overlord. So, yeah, there's the new Adoidic, if you remember that archetype. They, they were so cool, too, but they just never took off. I, I hope maybe with this new support, it'll do something. I'm kind of doubtful, but you know what? If one of you guys out there play a Doetic, prove me wrong. I would love it, okay? Like, seriously, prove me wrong on it. Go win a tournament with them. I'm messing this up here. There, okay. <laughs> Let's see. I guess we're just missing an Ultra from this side. So we'll see what happens. I'd love to get a Starlight from this set. I haven't really pulled a Starlight from an English set in quite a while. Well, there you go. Dark Hole Dragon. This card is awesome looking like i really like this one this one i got quite a bit i think like at every japanese opening i did i pulled this uh, i think even too he's getting like his own play map basically in one of the tournament things i forget which one it's supposed to be for but yeah he looks really cool i mean it's dark hole it actually goes with dark hole if you remember so that looks really awesome in my opinion his artwork is just cool oh yeah and there's the sky striker card red arrows i don't think it's that great either so that's what's kind of unfortunate, like, and I don't think the train card is that good, and, eh. <laughs> you know, they're, they're all kind of like, meh, I feel like, honestly. I don't know. Wings of Light, there's one of the new Zark cards. I remember pulling that one quite a bit, I think it was like a common or something. Rose Papillion, that one's kind of creepy. And last one for the right side, okay, then we got the left side. Now let's get Dybel Star as a Starlight, right? <laughs> I have a feeling that's going to be the priciest. And, oh, this guy. We, we got him a few times, too. I got him as an Ultimate Rare in the Japanese box. Because you can get Ultimate Rares. Again, check out those videos. If you haven't seen them. Uh, Veda uh, Car Color Cranium? I sure <laughs> I don't know. Dude, he's got one heck of an effect to him. 4,000 defense. Kind of cool. So, there you go. He goes with the whole business star frost thing i think if i remember right but looks pretty cool he has like a freaking chapter book though with his effect so that's one thing i don't like about pendulums i swear they have some longest effects i don't want to read a book let's see uh starry uh, dragon cycle 
Maybe I'm just lazy or boring. I just, you know, it's too much reading. Endymion, especially. Like, I love Endymion. Archetype always looks amazing. Has some of the best art and some killer effects. I do not want to read them all day. <laughs> like, I feel like you play against someone that plays Endymion. You're just like, you know what? I'll agree with you. Your card does that. I'm not going to check. We have Seed uh, Spitting Saplings. That's kind of cute looking. I don't know. I like it. I wonder what rarity the Novellus um, Pendulum is. We got that as a Starlight in my Japanese opening. So. Switch Point. There you go. That's a new train card, by the way. I guess the only one that got the holo print. I think all the others are commons, basically. Yeah, I don't think it does a ton. It's like a card that can help you... Uh, what is it? Like you can draw more or something? Let's see. Chosen card that control your opponent. Let's see. Yeah, it's not that great, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe someone can prove me wrong. I don't know. I feel like if you're going to give, uh, you know, five actually really good archetypes support, let's give them support. <laughs> Do it or don't kind of thing, you know? Sink or Rumble. There you go. That's the new uh, one that goes for like Red Dragon. Basically, Bray Dragon Archfiend, he got his structure deck, and he got a new card, which actually looks pretty cool. I like that art. I'd buy that as sleeves, like, instantly, you know? <laughs> they could have released that uh, with the structure deck like that with sleeves, and I, I would get that for sure. Okay. And, oh, we got King Sarcophagus. That's pretty cool. That's, of course, for the Horuses. That's one of their cards, Continuous. They are so tempting to build because I love Egyptian mythology. I'm just a little annoyed that they have the name Horus, but they don't really feel like they're part of the Horus, like, level monsters. Like, I want new retrains of all the levels. Kind of like basically what happened with Armed Dragon, you know? Uh, it, it just doesn't feel the same. So I don't really want to call it Horus because I don't feel like it is. Oh, like, see the Pendulum. Oh, that's a super. I'm kind of surprised. Well, there you go. That's a good pendulum card, really, or, you know, support for pendulums, I should say. Pretty nice. And Evolution, her, what, she was beyond the pendulum, I think, was her English name. Her, uh, Link 2 form. Couldn't think of it. Pit Knight, Billy. <laughs> what else you got here? Ants. Happy, uh, Guidance of Horus. Okay, another Horus card. Again, they, they do look really cool. It is very tempting. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried out Horus? I think they're a bit overpriced right now. Like, I feel like a lot of their cards are very expensive. I don't know if they're going to really just crush at tournaments, but they do look, like, rogue and powerful, though, too, so. And? Oh, okay, I got this one a lot, too, in Japanese. It's Snake Eyes, Flame Burge, a Dragon. So, yeah, that's, like, one of the main Snake Eyes cards, obviously. I think he's the one that's going to be on that play mat that I saw that, like, uh, YCS Japan is getting. They got that. They got a Labyrinth one coming out. And the cool other stuff, too. Maybe we'll get them. No idea. Anyway, pretty cool secret rare, I think. I think there is some, uh, like, there's going to be some cool stuff for Snake Eyes. They look interesting to me, but I don't think I'm going to build them. I'll be honest. But, but they look like they are worth building if you're interested. So, yeah, I feel like I have too many decks right now that I'm working on. So that's the reason I'm probably going to pass. But I can understand why someone would like to try them out. Because they do look fun. I mean, you know, it looks like a good archetype. Again, same with Horus. But yeah, I'm kind of just sticking with Labyrinth for now. TG all clear. And then for other cheaper decks, I got like Red Dragon and different things too. You guys know me, I build too much. <laughs> I don't always show every deck that I make either, because deck profiles do kind of mess sometimes on my channel, but, you know. Oh, there there she is, the, uh, poison, uh, how do you say that? Novellas, basically. That, that's the one we got, like, it was our last pack in our, uh, Japanese box, and we got it as a Starlight, actually, which was really cool. So... Oh, I guess she's super, so I can put her with the other supers. But, uh, yeah, kind of excited to see on that one, too. I like the novellas. Again, very rogue, I guess, or whatever, but they, they just are fun, you know? <laughs> I need that every so often. I need a deck that's just fun to play. Oh, oh, do we? Oh, okay, that's uh, that's Ultra Rare. For a second, I thought it was Seeker Rare. 
and my heart stopped, I gotta say. Uh, another TG, though. TG over uh, Dragonair. That one's pretty cool looking, too. I like the art. The TGs always look really cool. I don't know if this support's gonna be enough to really push them, because it's like the second time we've seen a lot of support for them, but I like it, you know? I think they look really cool. And like their main boss monster, too, I even got as a quarter century. So, again, Japanese, not, not in English. And last pack, what can we end with? Can we end with the Starlight? I I would like one, or again, quarter century. When I say Starlight, that's what I mean. I'm still not used to calling them that. Uh, let's see, Heart of the Cards. I mean, it's been a good box. You get that Bell Star. I mean, that's kind of worth right there. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like I've done good today, but we'll see. And, oh, okay, Snake Eye Oak. Well, there you go. Another one Snake Eyes. That's not too bad, really, but yeah. Uh, good box i think i think i did really well i don't know the prices right now it's not even really worth keeping track of the prices right now currently because it said it's not fully out and the prices are going to be everywhere so people freak out over that if there's a certain one you want to build maybe you should wait until you know it is uh actually like friday and everything's out or even a few days after that because then the prices will kind of settle and we'll figure out what's actually pricey and what's not in this set because i'm sure some things will fall and it is possible some could rise but die bell star i, I think it's kind of a no-brainer that's gonna be a chase card from this set and i am hoping i have some good luck getting my butler <laughs> you gotta get my labyrinth card that's in this set too so let me know what you guys think about it uh what you're excited about from this set and how you did at the premiere i mean like i said this video will probably get uh uploaded either monday or it could be sunday we'll see what happens but um i want to know how you guys did at the premiere too did you get a starlight or quarter century or something or or what did you get everything you already need from the set let me know as always thank you guys for watching like and subscribe and all that i greatly appreciate it and of course i will catch you guys later see ya